Amen. 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 Before the preacher, we just want to say welcome to the guys that came late. Welcome to the guys I see also Mama Jacqueline in the back. Welcome, we love you. In the name of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise be to the Lord Jesus. We might all have a seat. Look at the person beside you. And uh, tell them that you do love them in the name of Jesus. Okay. Even if it's your husband or your wife that you say I love you too. Say it again. I love you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Tell them you look good. Tell them you look marvelous in Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I've been greased again this day. To stand again in front of the nation of the Lord. Before we start the word of the day, we'll remind all the kids that they're being waited at behind there for their teaching. I've been graced today to stand again in front of the holy ones of the Lord. To bring the word that the Lord has instilled within my heart. Paul says, Pray for me so that whatever that I possess for the Lord can be transferred onto you. Pray for me as well so that whatever that I do have, whatever that the Lord has given to me, may I bring it to you as well. And above all, may I be and remain faithful by his word. The past week, our bishop taught us about loyalty I don't know if it was the same to you. But he went so quick, but a lot of also things were not easy to digest or take in. Now, back at home, I was repeating everything that had been said. And today, the Lord has put within my heart the word by whose theme it is the establishment of the local church. The establishment of the local church. Those that have learned theology know that there is a local church and there is also the universal church. When we are speaking of the local one, it is to say that it is an assembly of Christians that gather regularly and know one another at a certain place. But in brief, the universal church is when we're speaking of all Christians wherever they might be in the world. All Christians that do believe in Christ Jesus. And we do believe that one day we'll meet together in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. But allow me and allow me to tell you the constituents of the local church. When we speak of the local church, effectively we have the pastor, 
Tunakuwa na wa Kristo. We have Christians. Tunakuwa na nafasi ambao tunakutania. We have a place, a physical location where we meet. Wakati unatoka nyumbani. When you come from your place. Hawezi kamata direction atembeza tiga tino kwa ndugu Proust. Asi unenda u kanisa. You cannot take the direction to our brother Proust's house saying that you're going to church. Tukuna mahali ambao tumepatana tunakutania. We have a designated location where we've agreed to meet. Na tunakuwa sasa na kultu. And we also now have our service. Ama wanaita service. As we call it our service. Wakati unaingia hapa. As you come in this place. Una mambo amba unatarajia uone ngizi itatembea ndani ya mkutani. There are things that you expect to see the way they will move forward within the service. Na ndani ya hiyo vipande vyote. And within all those parts or constituents. Kila kipande ni entity ama ni ansenyema mkubwa. Every single part is one big teaching by itself. Kama tuneza anza kufundisha juu ya mkutano, kilf, service. If we can start talking about the service, ni kazi mkubwa. It's a great job or a great work. Kama tuneza anza kufundisha juu ya muaminifu. If we can start talking about a believer or a Christian, nao ni kipande kubwa. That is also a big part of it. Lakini ni menemishwa leo. But today I've been graced. Kufundisha. To talk about. Juu ya kiongozi a leader ndani ya hiyo kichwa kubwa within that big theme nimetaka tuelewe kiongozi ni nani i would like us to understand the sub theme of it who is a leader hii inchi ambao tuko ndani and this country in which we live nafasi mingi ambao tunatumika and so many other locations of work tunakuwa na viongozi we have different leaders wanawaita wa team lead they are called team leaders ama managers or managers ama wanawaita titre mbalimbali or supervisors and so many other titles na ndani ya kanisa la mahali and within the local church tunakuwa na viongozi we also have leaders tunakuwa na kiongozi mkubwa we have uh, the na wakati tunaongelea mali hapa tunakuwa na bishop as we are speaking of our own place we have our bishop hata ndani ya makwaya tunakuwa na viongozi pia even in different choir uh, choirs we have leaders na hii ili isababishe maendeleo mazuri ya kazi and all this is for the better progression of the work sijui kama tunaelewana i don't know if we're still together hapa niko tu mpractic normal atuingia mu here i'm only saying of practical things that we see on a regular basis so si haianza kalangiwa We have not yet started cooking it very well. I'm trying to put down the pieces for you. Na utakuya kuelewa. And you'll come to understand. Mungu ambaye tunatembea naye. The Lord God that we walk with. Haiko Mungu mwenyewe anabriza ka principles. He is a God that does not break principles. Ndani ya maisha yako. Within your life. Wakati yote ambao utaanza kutembea nyuma ya principles. At all times you'll start walking behind the principles. Hata ya maisha yako binafsi. Even the principles of your own Uchue life. Uchue ya kwamba umeanza kuharibu. Come to the realization that you've started ruining everything. I don't know if you all understand me. Mungu ambaye tunatembea naye. The Lord God that we walk with. Ni Mungu wa principle. Is a God full of principles. Nakupa mfano wa maisha. I'll give you an example that is life. Kazi. If you get a job. Unachelewaka kila siku and lendi. And you're the one that comes late every siku single day. Siku moja manager atakuita. One day your manager will call you. Esko neza niambia juu ya nini shaka lendi unachelewa. Let me tell me why you come late every Seke single Monday. Something haieleweki. There is it means that there is something that is not okay. Tunaelewana. Are we okay? Na Mungu wetu and our God wakati aliumba dunia the time at which he created the world ilibidi atembee na principles kama hizi. He had to establish certain principles as these. Ndani ya Biblia within the Bible kuna watu wanaitwa sawa vile Abraham. There are people that we all know like Abraham. Viongozi. They were leaders. Na wakati Mungu anaetablire kiongozi and when God establishes a leader ni kwamba ana mission it is because he has a mission ya kutimiza na huyo kiongozi to accomplish under that leadership of that ndani leader. Ndani ya hiyo muda wake within the time frame in Muda which he has established that Kaunenius Kai wanaita Kairos and the Muda wa Mungu inaitwa Kairos. The time of God is called Kairos. Kairos maana yake What does this word muda mean? Muda ambao Mungu ameweka. The time and we, the time which God has put forward mission divine yake. For him to accomplish his divine mission. Wakati Mungu anamweka Abraham. When God establishes Abraham. Alikuwa na misio ya kumuita le père de la foi. It's because he had a mission to call him the father of faith. Ndani ya safari yake. And within his entire journey. Ilibidi Abraham wakoe wa kwanza. God Abraham had to be the first one. Kama mtoto wake wa pekee amtoe. To take 
his only son to offer him there were no other people or other person like him I don't know if we're still together he got to the moment of Moses God established him within the time frame of God and Moses Moses was the very first person that had the power to split the waters into two and before Moses and after Moses there had not been and there has not been any other person which means when God establishes a leadership God has a specific mission through which you wants to accomplish in that leadership. And if you find yourself within the parentheses of that leadership, it means that you are a participant. You are a participant of the, of the miracles of God under that leader that God has established. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When God establishes a leader, God wants to inaugurate something new that maybe has not happened before. And it will only happen with that specific leader. And after they've left, it will not happen again. When Christ descended, there were no other people that went to resurrect somebody that had already been dead for four days. And this amazed people. It was within his time frame. Listen. Nobody had ever dared to walk on water before. When God elevates somebody, when God establishes a leader in front of you, there is something that he wants to perform or do through that leader. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, Kanisa. Amen. We can continue with all the other examples. But today, May God grace me again to happen to teach you who is your Moses. Look at the person beside you and ask them, do you know your Moses? Now listen to where the issue arises. You will never reach Canaan. You will never get to Canaan until you meet your Moses. I don't know if I'm speaking to somebody. Me, I, I would not be the way I am if a parent had not existed, a parent that God had established for them to give birth to me, so that today you can listen to my voice on this microphone. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You might fight your own battle to get to Canaan. But it is required for somebody to be called. For, for someone to listen to the voice of the burning bush. And then they will go. To guide you along the path to Canaan. Hallelujah. Amen. There are certain ladies we met in the car. Sasa, from nowhere, mambo ya nyumba, unaona ma nyumba leo iba ndugu ni kuomba sana. And out of the blue, they started speaking about households, and they asked me my, they asked him his opinion. The husband of one of them was the one driving. I, I said I do not have a reply, but I will ask you as well. This car that we're driving, we're riding, and who is the driver? We were in Hamilton. I asked, who is the driver? And 
And uh, they replied and say the driver who was called Bonamali. I asked them again. Sasa, kama hivyo la moyo. If this one she bote tunataka gombana tuikalie tutembeze, nini itatokea? We have a hand on it. What will happen? Ni accident, ndio. It's only an accident, is it not? Njo vile tubiko. And I say to them that's how things are. Volani moya. There is only one steering wheel. Shebote tuko mtu wa chauffeur. All of us are in here but we have a driver. Lakini chauffeur mwa kufani. It is only required for one driver. Kama tavola atembeze mpaka tunafika huko tunaenda. Take the steering wheel and guide us wherever we want to fike na amani. We want to get there peacefully. No no, kama tunataka tufike na amani. If you want to get there peacefully. Lakini kama tunataka fika na tuko vilema, acha shebote tuingie kwa ile vola. But if you would like to get there all of us disabled, let's all take the wheel. Alleluia. Amen. Alleluia kanisa. Amen. Biblia inasema hivi tusome maandiko. The Bible says to me let's read the scriptures. Luke chapitre 16 verset 27 à 31. Luke 16:27-31. Luke chapitre 16 27-31. Luke chapter Luke chapter 16 verse 27-31. verset 27 à 31 la Bible dit les riches dit je te prie donc père Abraham d'envoyer Lazare dans la maison de mon père car j'ai cinq frères c'est pour qu'il leur atteste ces choses afin qu'ils ne viennent pas aussi dans ces lieux de tourment Abraham répondit ils ont Moïse et les prophètes qu'ils écoutent et il dit non père Abraham mais si quelqu'un de mort va vers eux Mm -hmm. Ils se répentiront. Mm -hmm. Et Abraham lui dit, s'ils n'écoutent pas Moïse et les prophètes, mm -hmm. ils ne seront, seront pas persuadés quand même que quelqu'un de mort ressusciterait. Amen. Clap your hands for the Lord Jesus. Maybe you have not understood properly. Let's help one another. Biblia inasema hivi. The Bible tells me this. Kulikuwa maskini. There was a poor man. Na kulikuwa tajiri. And there was a rich man. Na kila mtu chini ya jua. And everyone under the sun. Iko na mwisho wake. Has their own end. Ilifika mwisho. It got to the point of the end. Tajiri akufe na maskini akufe. For the rich and the poor to both die. Alleluia. Amen. Lakini jambo ambao inagusa sasa mafundisho yetu. But something that targets our teaching of this day. Biblia inasema. The Bible also says. Maskini Lazar. That the poor Lazarus. Alienda ndani ya kifua ya Abraham. He went on in the chest of Abraham. Ikaonekana ilikuwa nafasi ya utukufu. And it seems that it was a place of glory. Ilikuwa nafasi ambayo iko comfortable. It was a place of comfort. Na huyu tajiri and this rich man ambaye Biblia ikutuambia jina yake. The Bible does not mention their Biblia inasema kaenda nafasi. The Bible says that he went somewhere ambao ilikuwa ya mateso. That was of suffering. Na wakati alifika huko. And when they got there Biblia inasema the Bible says akainua macho. He raised his eyes Eyesight, he recognized masikini, the poor person. Lakini wakati alimuona, after recognizing him, he saw him in the chest on the chest of somebody else. Kumbe hiyo siku, which on that day, nitajua kama Mungu Kennedy. I will truly know the man of God Kennedy. Na yeye kana ni chuo. And he will also see me and recognize me. Tunaweza fanya sambala pa chini ya chuo. We might pretend here under the sun. Ndugu usinitese. But beloved one do not make me suffer. Juu siku mbinguni. Because that day in heaven, I will remember. Ndugu mpendwa beloved one usinitie kale do not put the mbinguni because that day in heaven hata unaenda jificha kuzimu even if you go and hide in hell I don't know if I'm talking to somebody we will still recognize one another it's okay unaweza kuwa na pouvoir unaweza kuwa tajiri yes you might have the powers you might have the authority you might be rich kitu mwana jivuniaka one thing that i'm proud of i'm proud of najua mbinguni iko is that I know heaven exists. And that day in heaven, we will recognize one another. Which is why you should do good to me. Because you do not know where we'll end up. 
Alleluia. Amen. Biblia inasema hivi. The Bible says this. Akainua macho. He raised his eyes. Anasema, "Eh, hey, Lazarus, mimi nakukumbuka." And said, "Hey, Lazarus, I remember." Munisaidia munitupia hata maji kidogo. Help me even drop a droplet of water to me. Shida ni kwamba. The problem is that hakuna connection. There is no connection. Itakuwa sasa vile unaona kama mtu mtivi. It will be like you see a person on the TV. Unaweza jipiga piga hata unamlilia. You might try your best, you might even cry for that person. Unamuita kusi you might even call them by their phone Nakombe number they mai. will tell you that there is no way I can send you water Ali zema, ata toni ya mai. he said this rich person Sasa said even a drop of water now imagine the fire in heaven it's so burning to the point that imagine that even if a drop of water is released it will not get to you because it will dry along the way akalia He cried. Akasema hivi. He said this. Nina wandugu watano. I have five brothers. Ambao uko wanatenda sawa ngizi nilikuwa natenda. Are performing or acting the way I was acting. Nikwa bali juaka. He is because in you. Oh wandugu ambao walibakiaka. These are the brothers of his that remain. Bangali wanatesa bangine ba maskini venye viko sawa la za. They are the other poor people that were like us. Nabo watakuya ishia huku. They will also come and end up in hell like he did. Jua kanza negotiate for them. Which is why he started to negotiate in faith with his brothers. Pardon intercessor. Ne reside que da Moise. Nitaisoma mkiswahili. I repeat it. Karakteri ni nini mswahili? Hali the character supreme ya muombaji the supreme character of an intercessor ilikuwa katu ndani ya Musa was only within Moses. Wakati moya one time sikiliza listen Mtu mmoja anaenda omba. One person goes to pray. Mungu akamwambia huko muombaji wao. God said you are not their intercessor. Character ya muombaji. The, the character of an intercessor au terme supreme in supreme terms inakuwa katu is only found ndani ya leader within the leader. Biblia inasema. The Bible says Hayezi uwezekana tutume kule. It is not possible for us to send over there Jukule someone because there kuko Musa they have Moses Sasa sikia shida Now listen to where the problem Apa, is Apa tuko Luke chapter 16 Here we are in Luke chapter 16 Tuko mu Nouveau Testament We are in the New Testament Aliandika vitabu The writer of the book Kano vya kwanza vya kitabu ya gano la kale From the very first one of the Old Testament is Moses Kwa hiyo wakati At this moment Kwa hiyo dispensation de temps Within this time frame Musa alikuwa hakuwake tena. Moses would not, uh, no longer exist. Telesos physique in the physical realm. Lakini jambo ya kushangaza. But something amazing. Mungu ashikonfondra. God does not confuse himself. Na hapa watu wiko mtukufu ya Mungu hawezi sema bongo. That are in the ah, glory of God cannot naongea. tell lies. Lakini bana sema hivi. But they say this. Kule kuko Musa. They have Moses over there. Mekoma Musa tapatikana kule. How come Moses will find himself Na kitu over Musa there? Musa alikufa zamani. Yet Moses died a long time ago. Namna gani Musa? How comes? Anakuya aparetre mu Nouveau Testament. Moses comes to appear in the New Testament. Mtu mwenye aliandika ka Ancien Testament. That wrote the Old Testament. Yeye meta le Seigneur. The loved one within Christ. Kama hauya reconnect. If you have not recognized Ule Musa ambao Mungu ameweka mbele yako sao kitu wanaita Kanaan mbele yako kuko Kanaan lakini kuifurahi you you have to face Moses it is until you face your Moses Juni Moses tu because it's only your Moses jo alikuwa na mission that had the mission ya kuwabeba to take and guide the children of Israel hawangeweza hata mu maisha yao ku they would not have managed to make it in their entire bahari life to cross the sea kama Musa hangekuwa if Moses had not existed kuna watu wengi there are so many people wameshindwa vuka bahari they failed to cross the sea jualisha kata because they have denied kuna Musa wao to meet their Moses kuna wadada wengi there are so many sisters walisha shindwa kuolewa failed to get married jualisha kata because they have denied Sikia, siku mali kuna tembea na huyu huyu mama na na watoto yake. One day I was walking with this lady Una and her kids. Una sikia ngizi dada iko insolent. And you felt the way she Juma was insolent. Mama yake ajue sema anglais. Because the husband could not na speak English. Na biko wanaenda kuorientation kwa university ya Ottawa. And we were going at the orientation at the university and of Ottawa. Sasa mama iko anauliza maquestions mingi. Now the husband is asking so many questions. Sasa mbana kulia ka wapi? 
Where, where is Nani the the are so many people that what a why start desecrating the mom to the point where kufikia kanan there are so many people that will not make it to Acha, Canaan. Acha let me tell you the character of Moses ya kwanza, the very first one Musa alikuwa na karakter ya orienter. Moses had the character of an orienter. Alikuwa na busol. He had the the ya Mungu kutosha wana wa Israeli kuwabeba Kanan. He had the 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 campus of God to remove the children of Israel from Egypt. The second character. Ni yeye njoo alikuwa muomba intercessor wow. He was their intercessor. Karakter ya tatu. The third character. Ambao Musa alikuwa nayo. That Moses had. Alikuwa asenya. He was their teacher. Acha ni kuibie siri. Let me tell you another secret. Unajua kile diko manemo wakati zilivujikaka. You know when the commandments were broken? Mungu akamwambia Musa. Mo, God told Moses. Kamata kibao. Take andika na kidole yako. So a, Moses. A piece and write it on it with your finger and Moses did it. Character ingine. Another character. Pasipo Musa. Without Moses, Musa alikuwa na karaktere ya sutian. Moses had the character of a supporter or a character of support. There are so many casualties. Kuna vile mamingi ndani ya uduma. There are so many casualties within the ministry juu ya kushindwa because of failing to submit chini ya Musa. To submit under Moses. Tajiri anali anasema please. The rich guy cried and said please. Nisaidie. Help me. Aseme uku muwa wabafu. Fufula mutu moya. He said rise, raise somebody from the dead. Antuka kutokujua yesu ni ni ujinga. Not knowing Jesus or failing to know Jesus is stupidity. Fufula mutu. He said rise. Umutume one person among the dead and send them back. So that when they see him, they'll be amazed, astonished. And they'll get to believe in Jesus. I'm afraid of Christians that are always walking with appearances. Because I'm putting on a three-piece suit. I come Pale pale unaona Yesu huko. Shaking people and people feel like there is Jesus within that person. Unajua Biblia mzima Biblia inasema ke siongee kwa fujo, siongee kwa vita, lakini naongea kwa sauti ya upole. You know that in the entire Bible the Bible says I do not speak with stumbles but I speak in calmness. Naogopa ba Kristo, mimi kanisa za waafrikani unafika, unaona watu, mimi napendaka kwenye umwe wazungu tu. I doubt with other Africans that say you know in African churches you see people I only like pastors. Pastor, anasema father father anaruka mimi pastor wetu bieni me. Pastors that do tricks and stuff our pastors does not do it beloved one. Akamwambia hata mimi nafufula huko mtu. This rich person was replied and kule, said even if I resurrect somebody they will not nini? listen to him. Why? True ya nini? Why? Someone could project that line. Juniko na Musa kule because they have Moses over there. Hallelujah kanisa. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Kama hautasikia Musa, if they will not listen to Moses, ata malaika, even if an angel, ana pasula itwa tu. Ana shuka hapa. The ceiling and the sands in this place. Hautamsikia tu. You will still not listen to that angel. Mimi nataka kupa example practical. I want to give you an example that is practical. Unajua kuna kuaka ba Kristo. You know there are Christians. Benye mimi mimi najua tu ni siku. That I know Samu kumbele ya kaburi munatazik. When you are in front of a grave wanting to bury somebody. Shamu natu manyimbo ya wakov. And you leave a song of salvation. You wonder if somebody that you do not know. They participate and sing together with you at the grave. Mingone. Pale. Jua naona mauti. At that point when they see death. They will start back to Christianity. Once you leave that place. 
You find them drinking alcohol, they've forgotten all about it. If you will not listen to your Moses, the Moses that God has established are in front of you. Even if God resurrects somebody else, even, no matter how much I prophesy to you, beloved one in Christ, the Lord has already established Moses. May the Lord God help us as a church. The second point. Let's read 1 Samuel chapter 3. There is a certain scripture that I would like us to share and listen to carefully. Read quickly verse 4 to 7. 1 Samuel 3, 4 to 7. 1 Samuel 3, 4 to 7. Alors l'Éternel appela Samuel et il répondit, Me voici. Et il courut vers Elie et il dit, Me voici car tu m'as appelé. Elie répondit, Je n'ai point appelé. Mm. Retourne te coucher mm -hmm. et il alla se coucher. Mm -hmm. L'Éternel appela de nouveau Samuel mm -hmm. et Samuel s'éleva, mm. alla vers Élie et dit mm. Mais voici car tu m'as appelé. Élie mm. répondit mm. Je n'ai point appelé mon fils. Mm. Retourne te coucher. Mm -hmm. Samuel ne connaissait pas encore l'Éternel. Nini. Samuel ne connaissait pas encore l'Éternel. Samuel ne connaissait pas encore l'Éternel. Un délai. Et la parole de l'Éternel ne lui avait pas encore été révélée. Amen. Et la parole de l'Éternel n'était pas encore révélée pas pour Samuel. And the word of God had not Amen. been revealed to Samuel. Ça, ça somme à verset 9. Now read the ninth verse. 9, la Bible dit. Mm -hmm. Et il dit à Samuel. Et il dit à Samuel. And he told va, Samuel. Va. Va, couche-toi. Uh -huh. Et si l'on t'appelle, uh -huh. tu diras, uh -huh. par l'Éternel, car ton serviteur écoute. Et Samuel alla se coucher à sa place. Amen. Amen. You might stop there. Kanisa. Church. Let nobody lie to you. Samuel. Samuel. Prophet wa Mungu. A prophet of the God of the Lord. Mungu. Had would never have known God. Leo. Until this day. He would not have been able to prophesy in the Bible. If he was not by, because of the man of God. Eli, a code that gave him the code. Mungu. Of how to listen to the Lord. Let me repeat it. Biblia the Bible says Samuel, Samuel was asleep Samuel as you and I. There are many people that re are revealed visions anapataka, here. Anapataka. They see visions here. Sasa shida ni nini? But what's the problem? You call back to Africa. I had a dream. And somebody from Africa says, I'll go on the prayer mountain. <laughs> because he knows it's a deal. They they will go to the mountain. Shapanda. And you know transport here is now expensive. And we have to take a bus. Because I have to go with all the intercessors. We'll go and pray for that dream that you had. Beloved one. The Bible says this. When Samuel came to find himself under Eli because his mother offered him to the church. Wakati Mungu anaita Samuel. When God called Samuel. Mungu habriza ke principe bien aimé. God does not break his own principles. It doesn't matter ta unaimba kasa wa nani mwa ikanisa. Regardless of how good you sing in this church. Ungali na leader. You still have a leader. Sikiliza. Listen. Wakati ambao ilifika. The time came. Mungu kuita Samuel. Of God calling Samuel. Samuel hange pataka access. Samuel would not have had access. To the words of God, if it was not through Eli, who told him this, at this moment, if you listen to that same voice calling you, reply and say, I am here, my Lord. Listen to you, send me. This was the code. And the Bible says that Samuel had not known yet God until the point. 
when he replied kushuka, and humbled himself down baba, niambi, to say here I am Lord tell me the words that I have not listened to before lewi. tell me the words that I have not understood before what do these words mean Shida ni the problem is that Watu wengi, so many people run away from their leaders wake. they run away from their Moses they are hovering all over kuuliza. the place Na hii inasema nini? Instead of asking what does this mean? Jo mtu anaanza kuambia. And somebody hey, else might tell you. Oh, you see this. Tatea kia tatea ko. This seems as if your great grandparents no, said so and so and so. Bienme sanarie na. We loved one. This has nothing to do with what you're going through or what you're asking. Akamwambia hivi. He say this. He say this. When then? Go. Ulale and lay down tena sauti if you hear the voice again itika reply and say yes natangu hiyo siku and from that point on wakati alisikia sauti akaitika after he heard na the mungu voice akaanza fanya kazi na samuel and god started performing with samuel kama samuel, with samuel if samuel angerataka hiyo kazi had missed this opportunity angelewaka he would not have understood hey hallelujah amen Hallelujah. Amen. Hange ile waka. He will not come to the point of understanding. Sikia, haiko kuabudu mtu. Listen, it's not worshiping somebody. Kumbuka. Remember. Mungu ameweka huyo mtu. The Lord has set that person ahead of you or has established them in front of you within the time frame of God. Jo huyo mtu. For that person, jo iko na code. Is the one that has the code. Jo uaccede. For your access. It doesn't matter kama uko mkubwa kuyeye au uko mdogo kuyeye. Regardless of whether you older or Unaweza younger than them. Ama mfupi. You might be taller or shorter. Lakini Mungu amemweka. But the Lord God has already established this person. Kama tuko ngizi tuko leo. If we are the way we are today. Ni juu tuliitika. Is because we accepted. Uko natoka kumasomo. You are leaving, you're coming from school. Unajua na hiyo njili. You know even the gospel iko naingia ndani mambo mapya juu watu wenye munipenetre kadogo kitu najua hatupendaki usiku kupartaji He is being confused because even the people that have a little that they know would do not want to share it with others Dada sister if I'm preaching here coming out here apa e generation juu zinaomba tufundishe This generation is the one that we have to teach ni juu niliko malaka chini ya miguu ya kiongozi It's because I was raised I was raised under the leadership of a certain leader Hapana mumkutano hivi Not just in a gathering Nilikuwa like this no. kwa pastor I would go to my pastors na ikala pale chini And I would dwell at their place Anaanza niambia mambo And they would start sharing with me things Tony Tony kama unataka enda mbali If you want to progress in life kama unataka kumala kiroho If you want to grow spiritually Ninakuwaka hivi na hivi na hivi and this and this and this are the things or steps you have to follow Mina gobe Mina weka ndani And I kept it I swallowed it na imetusaidia And those things have helped us ndani ya safari ya kwenda mbinguni Within our journey toward heaven Hallelujah Amen Hallelujah Amen Nilifunzwa I was taught kupenda kanisa to love the church Sikiliza Listen, nilifunzwa I was taught kupenda kanisa to yangu. love my church Wakati nilikuwa hapa when I came here niliitika kukaa I accepted to dwell I don't care wakati oh anaenda kula kule it's okay I did not care about people's words that he goes there to eat. Yes, I would go there to eat spiritually no, no. and physically. It is no, not because I've already gotten married and have a wife and no, children that should not say the truth. After eating Ay, the food that the mother had prepared, we will sit with uh, the pastor at the table and he will start telling me things. Na hapo akaanza kujenga confidence yake ndani yangu. And there he started building his confidence for the confidence between niko nani. Fasi ya kukemea na kemea. And he started understanding who I was. Fasi ya kujenga anajenga. He rebuked and where to build he built. 
Lakini shida ambapo tunayo But the problem that we have Ni kukomalisha generation Is re, uh, raising this Yenye generation Yenye out of our hands That is out of our control Umwa mwitu The wolf Iko inje Is out there Itararua It's trying to devour Biblia nasema The Bible says Kondo anafanya nini What does the sheep do Anasikia sauti The sheep listens to the voice Kwangu niko na mafugo. At my place I have livestock. Nikitoka nje tu mimi nasikia mimi iko na yama mimi nasema mkishwahili tena. If I go hey, outside. Hey, huko atuletea fujo. And they're screaming. I say keep quiet you're making noise and they all come down and keep quiet. I'm serious. Inanyamas. And I'm being honest with you. Me wewe ukikuwa na za yama. But when you come here you start screaming and telling you you're making noise. You even augment and yell a lot more. Do you see where the problem is? kule nje out there kila mtu haiko leader not everybody is a leader mu timing ambao Mungu amekupa within the time frame that God has put you in ngeomba Mungu sana you should have asked from God usipoteze hiyo time to help you so that you don't waste your time ukona prepare maisha yako ya kesho because it is you are preparing your life for tomorrow Biblia inasema hivi the bible says nitagusa hii jambo kidogo tu i will just touch a little bit of this elisha elisha Hangeweza would not have been capable mafuta to receive the anointing of miracles kama hangeweza if he had not been able kuti. to obey instruction ambao Elia alimpatia Elijah had left him Elia kamwambia hivi Elijah say this unitazame mzuri look at me carefully sasa sikia shida. Now listen to the problem. Wakati Elisha, when Elisha, iko anatazama mzuri. Had been watching carefully Elijah. Things were not easy. Biblia inasema kukokea ta turbion de vent. The Bible tells us that kukokea na watu wa kukokea distrere Elisha. Jua Elisha asitazama mzuri. Elisha for him not to think carefully. Hawa pokea yake koti. You did not receive the coat. Kama haviko focus. If you're not focused ile double portion the double portion that he received that he had asked for hange ipokeaka he would not have received kama hange kuwa focused he had not been focused alikuwa focused kwa nani he was focused to whom alikuwa focused kwa leader wake he was focused to his leader haleluya amen muujiza ya kwanza yeye alifanyaka the first miracle that he performed muujiza ya kwanza elia elisha alifanyaka miracle that he performed akuifanyaka yeye he did not perform it by himself alifanyaka na koti ya elia that Elijah had left him Elia Elisha 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 alikuwa empty hands he was empty handed lakini wakati alipokea coat when he received the cloak juma alikuwa ngambo ya mai because they were on the other side of the water mimi kama ngerataka ile coat ange waza pita if he had missed that lakini wakati alikuwa na coat mkono but when he took the cloak in his hand say, and said let me try he just hit it on the water kumai. Mai asa ini kope za vrezi. The water accepted what had come to it. Kama hivi mimi ni tuko ndani havinge kwa bia vrezi kama shetu lishavitoka ndani. If what we are in right now don't have been good Acha would have left a long time ago. Let me tell you. Ni juko kwa Mungu. It's because there is a God. Jo mana tungana shikamana That's nani. why we are still holding Nijutu on to him. Ni juko kwa Mungu. It's because we have seen God Mumu previously. Wake. We have seen God in Jo mana tungana shikamana. That's why we are still holding on to him. Hallelujah kanisa. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Unakoko bitu ni mister kama hawai kikode it's a mystery if they, it's not been recorded yet, you will not understand you'll be going left right left right you will not understand uko dada why the fagia ta nyumba ya mama pastor you're a sister why not go and help our mother at her place nenda ifagia go and sweep her house uko tunaimba atawali Yesu nipe bwana atawa jupani cho kuko onction because that's where there is the anointing me uko naomba onction But you are asking for an anointing I don't know where. I'm telling you the truth. Sasa evangelio imekuwa kuna makonfusion mingi. Now the gospel has been so confused. Musimamo. People so do not kutana na imbo mwitu kule nayo unasema ni kanisa. Haiko kanisa, haiko evangelio. You go and meet stuff out there you bring it to the church and claim that it's part of the church. It's not part of the gospel. There are things that you're picking from social media. Bitu vya bapetage. 
Habina relation à évangile. Things that do not have any relationship whatsoever with the gospel. Ça ça Now, when you see things like that, you you think that that's the gospel. Habina relation à It has nothing to do with the Lord God. Alleluia kanisa. Amen. Mufanya angalisho siku za mwisho. Be extremely careful with the end of days. A leader, a leader, anakuwa proud. Is proud. Wakati iko na watu wanawaita wana chini yake. When they have people called children or followers under them. Ntamalizia ni kisema hivi. I'll conclude by saying this. Ndani ya kanisa. Within the church, kuna kuwaka kategori ya watu tatu. There are three categories of people. Kuna watu aliza fanya mukanisa dizo. There are those that could spend ten years in the church. But in heaven they know this is still a guest. This person is still a guest. Now, what is the character of a guest? They come to feed on the bread and go. The character of a guest. They will only come when. Whenever they capture the sister ashtuka. or the brother, that's when hey. they come. And you realize, oh, this person was was still a guest. Mugeni, a guest, anataftaka tu entere yake. Seek for their own, seeks for their own interest. Hataftake entere yaku jenga kanisa local. They do not lokal. seek for the interest to build and progress the local church. Mugeni, a guest, hapenda ke kuparticipe kukitu yote. Does not want to partake. And anything, I'm really worried of people mkanisa. that are in church and they cannot do anything. Da, 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 If you ask them, imba. what do you, can ah, you sing? They'll sound. say, no, I will not sing. I do not have the voice okay. of a singer. Okay. Dada, kaka. Sister, brother. Can you be hey. an intercessor? No, I might die from intercessing for people. Okay, we learn in Okay, those are hard stuff. Dada, kaka. Sister, brother. Can you even be an usher? Oh, I'm afraid I'm shy. Okay, tunafanya barbecue. Okay, we do a barbecue. Na barbecue ya kukula, how is it going to participate in the barbecue where we call you to eat? Why can't you come and join us? Ole ni visite. Just realize that yeah, one is still a guest. They seek for their own interest, and once they find it, they're gone. Kama uko If you are a leader, Fanya na be extremely careful with such people. They will make you work harder, but What, they will never help you. What to mikisha sana akia tawai kuku saidia. Kama ufanya ngalisho. If you're not careful. May the Lord give me wisdom. Hallelujah. Amen. Unajua Uganda. You know in Uganda. Saba pastor matoka Congo kia fungula makanisa. When pastors will come from Congo to come and open churches. Anataka taka kanisa yenye na vuma. They will look for a church that is very popular. Kisha na enda ndani. And they go in that church. Tumish. They claim to be a servant. I'm a pastor. I'm coming to help with this work. We are going to move forward together. They're targeting something. That sister sings well. They start sister. I'm a servant of God. And you find the true people, the supporters of the church that have been taken away. And you come to realize, oh my God, this was a guest among us. They were looking for the heavy players of the church. Somebody that you were extremely trust, trusting, you were starting to call them, brother, sister, where are you? We're still together. You were the moderator, you were such and such. Le visiteur, le caractère ya kwanza ya pili. You lost track. The second point. Wana ita, wana funzi, These are people that are called learners. Kujifunza. They are coming to learn. Juba eleo for them to understand your doings. Na and they will participate in whatever that you're doing. Na mission. But they have an ulterior motive. Na mission ya kanisa Their local. motive is not to build a local church. Biko na mission ya ku 
bakishapata bamejifunza bameelewa banaenda fanya yao after they've learned after they've known your tricks after kusaidia kuendelesha kanisa know your secrets they leave they will never help you to progress forward i'm repeating it kuna watu ambao wanaonekana wanafunza there are people that seem to be learners among others they will want to understand and depth how did pastor start establishing the church after they have understand your ideology and your philosophy they will left themselves they'll always look forward They don't see kila kitu wenye anafanya anakuwa anafanya pratique juu siku ataenda ile wengi atafanya naye it's practice so that when they leave they'll Awezi have something with them they will kujenga kuendelea they'll never help you to build so that you can progress together awa ndio nasikia ka the pastor's heart is bleeding roho ya mchungaji inavuya juu ni watu ambao alifunza lakini wakisha kuelewa wanafanya nini wanaondoka na hiyo mafundisho wanaenda tena kufanya yao kisha wanabomoa ile ambayo such people are the reasons why the pastor's heart is bleeding after they've learned immensely from him they leave and do their own thing and destroying what they left behind kama niko mchungaji if i'm a pastor roho yangu and my heart itakuwa sawa ya yesu well my heart will be like alikuwa na wanafunzi wengi he had several lakini biblia inasema followers but the bible only tells you one Only John that only John was sleeping on his chest na ndio maana Yohane and it is only John that was privileged enough to write the book of Revelation because he had the connection from the heart of Jesus the local church the local church will not progress na wavisite with visitors ama na wanafunzi tu learners only lakini wale ambao wameitika kuwa wana Biblia inasema the bible says ya kwamba that wengi watakuwa many will come lakini only one watoto wa nyumba the children of the house pale forever will live and dwell there forever haleluya amen mwanafunzi hashibaki a learner is never satisfied mtoto anashibaki but a child of the house comes to the point of satisfaction mwanafunzi anakuwa kaiko analia tu akunyonye they always asking to know they want to feed akunyonye they want to suck from you visitere anatafuta kanini ya taifa is always seeking for what to steal and go lakini mwana but a child of the house anatafuta kanini ya taifa for what to give so that the work can push forward kana tesika ya mwana the nature of a child anaye to is of that one that gives, that one that brings the share, they can not lakini ana muda they might not have money but they have time ni maskini they might be poor lakini ana upendo wa kanisa they have love for their church kuna watu hawezi ukawatoa ndani ya kanisa na wakati unaanza tu mission ya kutetrui ile kanisa nakwambia nyamaza Hallelujah. There are people that cannot allow you to destroy the church and once you start that mission anatunda, they'll tell you keep quiet. Anatunda ya mwana. They have that fruit of a child. Kanisa inajengewaka na wana. A church is built with children. Haijengewake na kila mtu. Not everybody. Kumbe yule ambaye ni mwana. That one that is a child of this house. Mupatie vision. Give them the vision. Yesu akasema. Jesus said ulilipatia kaba bote you gave me all these joba mimi nabakurudishia i've returned them back to you lakini yuda but judas namunawa i wash my hands haleluya amen haleluya kanisa amen haleluya amen acha mungu atusaidie may the lord god help sijue us sijue nani njoo musa wako i don't know who is your moses sijue nani njoo eni wako i don't wako. know who is your elijah kuna nafasi inabidi ufike there is a point that you have to attain lakini mungu amekuwekea kiongozi but the lord god has established a leader for you acha mungu atubariki may the lord god bless us amen bwana yesu asifiwe praise be to the lord god jesus